Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead brought to you by Business Day in conjunction with the Movement Studio. My name is Eniola Olatunji and with me is... Wasiu Ali. Welcome back from the Salah break. We yeah, welcome missed back. you. <laughs> we missed doing <laughs> this. How are yeah. you, Wasiu? Wasiu, where is my meat? Well, talking about meat... Please don't tell me your meat, your <laughs> ram ran into the well. It didn't actually. It didn't. It's almost... <laughs> But it escaped death. Why well, she was my meat? <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. You get you get the meat and, and plus plenty of drinks too. So don't worry. I can't wait. Just, I'm just expecting rest it. Was well, you were going to start unusually with the Naira? Yeah, I think it makes sense because the Naira has maintained some relative stability. Yes, you remember. You know, you know so. that every time we talk about the Naira at the end of the show, we are always saying we hope. Yeah, we, we pray. are always hopeful. Yes, I think our prayers are beginning to yield now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yield some good results. Yes, yes, obviously. So the Naira has been very stable we've not seen those sharp peaks Mm -hmm. and sharp drops Mm -hmm. in a while it has maintained a it has been it has stayed between a thousand four hundred and seventy naira so like a thousand four hundred and ninety naira in the official market and maybe like a thousand five hundred in the black market it's average a thousand Four hundred and eighty-one naira, and that's ipadola in a month. We've not seen any of those sharp peaks. Like people can plan around the mm-hmm. the dollar now, and, and that is something great. It's something great actually, and and it points to the direction that the central bank of Nigeria, uh, you know, the the policies, the policies, the monetary hiking and yeah, the BDCs, target, um, um, selling dollars to the BDCs. Yeah. Um, it does quite a number a of lot, them. I, I think I think the, the CBN is, is doing well in this direction. And, yeah, and, we, uh, and we even can... the fiscal side is trying to do something. Last time we were on the show, we spoke about Nigeria receiving a two point two five billion dollar loan from the World Bank at one mm-hmm. percent interest rate, and we did get it. We did get it. And analysts have projected that we should see a rebound, a bounce in the naira. naira like we should see on the like, back of this money. Yes, on the back of this inflow, inflow. into the country. Yeah. And honestly, like the naira has been making us proud. But but <laughs> we remember <laughs> in April. Mm. In April, <laughs> Naira was the Naira best, was the best performing, performing currency, currency in, the in the world. And it, it could not just sustain that momentum. It didn't. Just lost it. Phew, May, like that. It became the worst performing currency. So yeah. we do hope, as we've always done, we do hope that it continues to sustain, like it continues stability. this stability, stability in the coming months. Mm. Because Fitch... And RMB had projected that by the end of the year it should be at around eight thousand four hundred and fifty naira, mm. and one thousand four eight is very close yeah, to it's, that. Yeah, it's, it's looking at. So it's looking if like we it. see we more, could even even drop. Yeah, if we see more appreciation in naira. We could eat that target by mm. before by before the year December end. before the end of the year, and mm. that would be a very good fit. Out. Yeah, for the naira. <laughs> that would be very good. Um, moving away from the naira now. Yep. <laughs> so we don't get. Too excited <laughs> into the Naira's euphoria, and um, the debt management office will be releasing 450 billion, billion yeah, Naira auction, bond auction today. Yes, today, today, the debt mm-hmm. management, um, the debt management demo would is auctioning a 450 billion Naira federal government bond, it's monthly federal government bond. Now, this bond is caught across three tranches we have the five year tranche, the seven year, and the nine year tranche. All going for like this 150 billion apportion to each of the auction. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the same amount that was auctioned last month and only about 380, 385 billion of it was sold. If you remember very well, in February, the demo auctioned a record 2.5 bid, um, 2.5 trillion naira. 2.5 bond. trillion. Yeah, it was, wow. it's one of the like, is is a record eye that the DM was auctioned, and this meant that the government front loaded its borrowings. Subsequently, mm. we've seen the, the DMO only it hasn't gone more than okay, it has gone more than 4, 450, but very rarely mm. m- m- for the last three months, it has been a 450 billion auction, auction each month. And just last week, um, there was a report released by the DMO saying that, um, in the first quarter, the DMO exceeded its um debt by over 24 percent mm. like it's crossed the 100 trillion 100 yeah, it trillion was, it was 121 trillion there about yeah mark and that is a lot so i think that they are really taking a step back to 
watch their borrowings and make sure they don't go to have some sort of physical and debt sustainability. Yes, they don't go too far. And what would that do to to the um, auction today? I do not. Analysts do not expect that there would be they would exceed the four hundred. They would sell a lot more than that four hundred fifty. Mm. Just like we saw in the previous months, I think they would just um do. It would be a good sale, but, yeah, but not nothing something extraordinary. Yes, nothing extraordinary. All right. All Away right. from that, the National Bureau of Statistics will also be releasing the electricity. Well, it report. has released. Oh, it's out today. Yes, yes. it came out <laughs> yes. this morning. What can released. you take us through? What? Yeah, the report the says breakdown. that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the National Bureau of Statistics, like you've said, has released the um, electricity report for the first three months of 2024, and um, yeah, something happened. Yeah, positive, negative. The positive part, let me start with the positive The good part. <laughs> yes, everyone wants to hear the good part first. Yeah, um, revenues of the distribution companies rose by 17% year on year. Well, thank God. But, that's, but they can but, do better. Yeah, they can do better. They can do better. So it rose and it was 291 billion naira. Okay. But quarter, on quarterly basis, Q4 2023, revenue was 294 billion naira. Q124, Revenue stood at two ninety one billion naira, so there's some sort of decrease, but one point seven eight percent, yeah, decrease. So, um, and um, very very importantly, um, Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company made the highest revenue. Oh, that's 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 good. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one for them. Revenue. So, I think the, I belong to their distribution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I thought there was an increase in tariffs for the band A in the first quarter, and I thought that would amount yeah, to about, like about an increase, increase in revenue for them. Yeah, like, well, obviously it should, but maybe uh, people didn't even buy much. Like when it, when, <laughs> when there's no money, yes, they'll probably, they were probably <laughs> missing their yeah yeah their yeah, electricity managing everything. You know, yeah. before you see people switch on their lights here and here and there. It didn't you know, but now everybody's managing. I think some people even intentionally like started using solar and yes, then using yes. um going gen. through yes. more cleaner energy and renewable energy. And that's just just the way to go. Well, away from um electricity report but now, the Federal Account Allocation Committee, committee. Uh, will also be disposing um May's there will be a they'll release the report on how the the disbursement. So the FAC, we call them FAC, would um gives a monthly breakdown of its distribution of mm -hmm. revenue to the federal, the state, and the local government, and even other revenue general um collection, revenue collection um agencies. bodies, agencies like L LRS and FIRS. So the report Yeah, the report gives the report a breakdown of gives a breakdown of it. Of, of for it last for last month, yeah. The uh, FAC um distributed one point eight seven trillion era. Um, among the three phases of government. They, can't they give me this money to distribute? I, I, I think I'm very resourceful. <laughs> okay, in distributing the funds. Yes, I can help them distribute uh, well, it. They, well, they can't. And they can't. Uh, well, one of the things that... Um, I think one of the reasons why local government are even fighting for autonomy is for Those the revenue. The <laughs> for the revenue to come to them directly and not through the state. What have you seen your local government, Chairman? That's a question for another day. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, for... For last month, they generated 1.87, they distributed 1.87 trillion naira. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, um, re revenue generating bodies like N, that, like the custom service, like the NUPLC and um, uh, FIRS, they, they had some large share okay. of this revenue too. So uh, for, for May, we also see, we expect that the revenue will also increase. You know, it has been on the increase since the government removed first subsidy last year, mm. and it has you know it has um, rose to about two trillion, then one point eight seven, then one point seven in 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 March. So yeah, it should it's, it should it should it should be increasing area. here. Okay. It should increase also this yeah. month. So we are also expecting the capital importation report yeah. on Friday. Importation report. Yes. You know, then Nigeria imports. Um, the, there's there's this article we wrote then that, that oh, Nigeria is not importing enough. Yes. People, people think Nigeria yes, is an import dependent a myth. country. We are not an import dependent mm. country. And um, so, so what should we be expecting in that report? This the report it is it um, gives details of Nigeria's transactions with um, of business and services with foreign countries. Countries mm. in the full year of 2023, 
um, Nigeria did about 3.89 billion in um, inflows. But that's down from 5.42 billion we did in 2022. Was that how much did we go down that much? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not like I don't know, but like I just think that there were a couple of factors. There was mm. like there was a couple of factors, especially maybe um our currency vol- volatility. volatility. Because you know, last year was when we merged um we floated the naira. We floated the naira mm. and then we had spikes in the naira and all of that. So um guess what states as the biggest import like what center of excellence you know you couldn't bet that why do you sound like you're illegal shit anyway <laughs> lagos was yeah. uh, was a um like um the top destination for importation and like foreign businesses followed by abuja which is the federal capital territory mm, that's and expected then abia states yeah. And so that's a really interesting report to look out for. For more analysis, you could check our website. You should, you should look, you should out, look for out for the story when it comes out this yeah. week. And then to wrap it up, Let's we're go going to, to Kenya. Africa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Somewhere in East Africa. Yeah. You know? um, Kenya's uh, National Bureau of Statistics, yeah, just like we have MBS. Oh, so have, I think MBK. No, KMBS. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so KMBS will be releasing um, um, the country's inflation trigger on Friday. So you should look out for that. Kenya's inflation has been on decline, but rose last oh, month. I was excited for Yeah, that. <laughs> it was to 5.1% last month from 5.0% it was um, the previous month. So now for June, the, the inflation figure is for June actually, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So um, analysts are expecting that the inflation trigger would rise marginally, say 5.2% on the back of the some sort of... Um, um, weather and climatic conditions in the country. You know, you know one of the um, drivers mm. of Kenya's inflation, just like Nigeria, is food. Mm. Uh, food, transport, housing, water, and electricity. But um, with... So they are also affected by food. <laughs> Where share man? man every, must every, eat. <laughs> every, I think I think food insecurity is one of a global threat now. Mm-hmm. So every country is affected with um, food insecurity. So we expect that the inflation figure will be out, out on Friday. You should look out for that. For more in-depth analysis on our stories, you could visit our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media platforms at businessng. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. And I am Enola Olatunji. See you next week. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.